Hi, I'm Patrick from the New York State Tax Department and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of property taxes, what they're for, how they're collected, and how to make sure your assessment is fair and accurate. In New York, school districts and local governments use property taxes to fund public education and to pay for services like police and fire departments. The amount of your property tax bill is based on the total value of real property you own. Real property, or real estate, is generally defined as land and any permanent structures attached to it. This can include houses, gas stations, office buildings, and vacant land, as well as farms, apartments, and in most cases, mobile homes. The total value of your real property is determined by a local official called an assessor, and the determination he or she makes is called an assessment. Assessors are typically employed by towns, cities, villages, or counties. To ensure that all properties are assessed fairly, your assessor should conduct reassessments on a cyclical basis. Reassessments are the best way to ensure that all property owners pay only their fair share of property taxes. For homeowners, your assessor should base your assessment on the current market value of your property. He or she can determine the market value by looking at recent sale prices for similar properties in your community. Once your assessor determines your property's market value, he or she will calculate your total assessment by multiplying the market value of your property by the local level of assessment. If your city or town was recently reassessed, the level of assessment will still be close to 100% of market value. However, if it's been some time since the last reassessment, it's likely that the level of assessment will be less than 100%. The longer it has been, the lower the level of assessment will be and the more likely that your assessment is no longer accurate. If your community assesses at 100% of market value, the total assessed value of your property should be roughly equal to its market value. If assessments are not at a market value, you can use the market value listed on the assessment roll as a starting point to determine if you've been assessed fairly. The assessment roll is a listing of all assessments in your community. And in most communities, this listing is first made public in the beginning of May. We encourage you to check the assessment roll each year to ensure that you're assessed fairly and are receiving any exemptions for which you're eligible. If you feel your assessment is inaccurate, you have the right to contest it. Our website provides more information on this process, including an informational video called, Is My Assessment Fair? Keep in mind that a change in your property assessment doesn't mean you'll see a change in your tax bill. Your actual tax bill only changes when bigger local budgets are adopted, other revenue sources shrink, the total of your assessed property in a municipality changes, or the tax levy apportioned to the different municipalities changes. So, how does your assessment translate to the amount of taxes you pay? First, taxing jurisdictions, school districts, municipalities, counties, and others have to determine the amount of revenue that needs to be raised to fund public services. They determine their budgets, the total projected expenses for the year, and then subtract all revenues from sources other than the property tax. The result is the levy, the total amount of property taxes to be collected. The tax levy is then divided by the total assessed value of the jurisdiction to arrive at the tax rate. Ultimately, your assessment will be multiplied by the tax rate to arrive at the property taxes you owe. For more information on property taxes, watch our other informational videos or visit our website at www.tax.ny.gov.